Hi everyone! So I have a project tutorial to share with you guys. We're going to be making some beautiful little paper flowers today. And the main idea came from these little flower centers right here. These came from bbcrafts.com. I'll leave a link down below to their website. I'll also link these products. And I do have a coupon code with them that is Nicole10 to save you 10% off of your order. And they do ship for free if you spend $25, which is amazing. They are overseas, but I usually get my products in about two weeks, which is really fast and really good. So, let's get started. Uh, just dig through your stash. If you have any paper punches or any flower dyes, go ahead and bring those on out. And we are just going to go ahead and punch a couple of flowers here. And then you are going to need these round little tools right here. So they're called embossing tools. So you can see right here, I gave my little flowers some dimension. So this is just some extra foam that I have. We're gonna turn our flower upside down using our smaller tip. You can see there's different sizes here. So using our smaller one on this one. I'm gonna go around the edge of the flower Make sure I get that tip in there and then down the middle. So again, we're gonna go around the edge of the petal and then down the middle. So we're gonna do that all the same with all of these. I'm just gonna go around each little petal. And then you see now it's all cupped instead of being flat like this one. It's all cupped up. So then we're gonna turn it over so now our pattern or colors facing up we're going to use the other side of our tool and just go right in the middle not moving it just doing little tiny circles and that's all so there is our little flower so now we get to go ahead and start building our flower so i'm going to use my hot glue gun today and i think i'm going to do this pattern one first down at the bottom. Oh, that was hot. I felt it through the paper. And then when I layer these, I'm going to put this petal in between these two petals. So we're going to go right there. Hold that for a sec so we can let that glue set. Put another daub of glue there. We're going to take our next petal again. Do the same thing. We're going to go right in the middle there. And then you can layer these up as many times as you would like. I'm just going to go ahead and do the three right here. And then I want to go ahead and take my little flower center that I got from BB Crafts. We're going to go ahead and put another little dot of glue right there in the center. We're going to go ahead and place this down. Probably would be easier if we use our tweezers. So that's what I'm going to do. Make sure that is nice and centered. Okay, I like that. Then we're gonna be putting a little center. So we have a little rhinestone here. We could go ahead and use that white one. But I think I'm gonna dig through here and bring out a pink one. We'll see, or there's red in here and we'll see which one we like best. So let's see if we put a pink. I think I might be going with the red. I think I like this one. So then we're just going to go ahead and put a little center there. And then just go ahead and place that where we want it. And then there we go. Now we have our little paper flower isn't that pretty i have a much larger one right here that we can do let's see this one is like two and a quarter wide and this one ends up being one and three fourths i think a one inch flower would probably look really pretty with these little flower centers as well Let's do a larger one, though. So we're going to put that in there. 
put that there. Put our next layering piece there. What if we build it up? What if we put these on there? Oh, I kind of like that. So we made like a new larger flower. So I did the same thing. I did three of the large petals. And then I'm going to put this little baby one that we just did. That's really pretty. I like how that looks. It kind of really, really nice. Okay, I want to try one. Instead of having like my petals go down. I want to see if I put my petals up if I like it any better so I think those are the same size let's go bringing up our flowers this way because you see how this like kind of cups up I want to see what if we do our flower the same style and then I just need to get another little punched out flower over here Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing here. Just doing the same thing. I'm trying to be fast about it. And kind of just squish it down in the middle there. Normally I'd get all these like little spiderweb glue pieces off, but for the sake of the video, I'm trying to move a little bit faster. Um, let's see. I think I would like this a lot more if I used maybe like a one inch flower because it would kind of just cup around it just a little bit smaller. Uh, let's take one of our stones. Let me use the white one this time. I think I kind of like it this way too. So here's what the petals going down and here's what the petals going up. I think I actually like it both ways. So there's a couple little ideas for you guys on how to use those. I was thinking about putting it as a bead cap as well. So let me get some beads out. Okay, so we're gonna try it and use it as like a bead cap. So have some wire here. I'm just going to guesstimate here how much wire I need. I'm going to say probably about here. And we're going to take our round nose pliers. Do a little loop to do loop. Okay. We're going to take our cap and face it up so it's going to hug around our bead. Put our bead in there. And then put this on top. I actually really like that. Okay, that came out better than I thought. I actually have too much wire here. I'm going to roll this one down too. That came out really, really cute. Oh my gosh, these are a must now. It's so versatile that you can use it for a flower little center or as pretty little bead caps. Like, look at that. That is awesome. All right, you guys, that's our little video for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful, and we'll see you next time. Don't forget, I'll leave a link down below to these products. Well, this is the only product, but to all the products that I got from my last haul. And uh, don't forget to use coupon code NICOLE10 to save you 10% off of your purchase. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment down below. I'm more than happy to help you guys out. All right, bye, guys.